I have an iPhone 7 Plus here with no display. No display, no display, no display. Uh, as you can see, uh, let's see, this connector is damaged. So you got two pins here, which are damaged, and, and if we go to ZXW, we will see that this pin is a data filter pin, which means that it's going to be black screen. And this one is the cathode connection on the backlight, so you're going you're gonna to have backlight, no display. So I would rather not fix this. <laughs> Because I think I'm gonna have to disassemble the board, but anyways, I'm, let's let's try to see if, ben, see if I can bend it back and maybe make it work. And then and then I don't think it's gonna work. Now. Hey, do you have that little the little scraper thing? The little uh, pick the pick. There you go. Your the no, it's right there. I think I see it right next to the blue. No, the the pick. No, 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 no. next to the blue. The pick. The thing you used to push down, man, real hard. You said get more, and that one right there. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Right. We got a little a pick, a, 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 a dental pick here. This is about as maybe it's not a dental pick. I don't know what it is. It's actually meant for soldering. If I can find it in bulk, I will buy them and sell them because these things are invaluable. Um, so I need something thinner, man. Uh, let me see if I can get this. Because these things are pretty fragile. You can't really just lift them up like that without them breaking. But I think this is done anyways because the middle's all pushed down and stuff. So I don't think we're going to be able to salvage this. But we shall try before we replace it. Even if we do get it up I don't I, I don't think it's gonna be very stable so I think we're I, I, I think we're gonna have to replace it so maybe though maybe 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 we shall try Alright, well, I think we got one up. One up. One up. That should be sufficient enough, I think. Eh, that's good. So let's get number two, which is causing the no display. Uh, let's see if we can get it up here without breaking it. There we go. All right, we are back up, and then we're gonna squeeze it a little bit, both sides. This thing is smashed, man. Uh, so what I normally do in these instances is try to fix it, and then if it works, I'll just send it back, and then say, hey, you know, I'll give you a discount if uh, if you need. To Send it back to get her connector replaced, which I think is probably going to happen anyway. So I may just replace the connector. But anything to save a little bit of money for the customer, and uh, I don't really want to do this job. So most people will probably just replace the connector, but I think this is okay. I think this is okay. This should definitely work for how long? Nobody really knows. But that should work right there. So let's let's see if this works. And then this is an iPhone 7 Plus. Do we have any 7 Plus working screens? I think we do. This is a 7 Plus, yes. But it's got a torn home button flex. No, it's got a torn display connector. So that's not gonna work. Come on, man. The cable's too long. Okay, sorry about the static, man.
Something's loose in my uh, microphone thing here. Is it working? Yeah. Okay, let's do this, man. Let's, let's, this has been happening for long enough. I'm tired of it. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Okay, I got my display here, which I'm going to give it a go now, and hopefully it doesn't short stuff out. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just replace it. That'll be the longer term solution. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see if it works first. You know, if it doesn't work, it looks bad when I disconnect it. All right, we got Apple logo, so that's good. Oh, I guess I'll make a decision in a little bit here. I don't know. I think I think I'll just stick to my plan here. I think I'm just gonna send it back as is, and if they need to send it back for a connector repair, then I'll give them a discount. I don't think uh, it's gonna be a big deal, really. Uh, aside from the fact that they're gonna have to send it back and wait a few weeks, if it doesn't work. But uh, hmm, but who's to say that's not gonna happen again? Because I think they use these phones to test. To test screens, so it's a high output uh, connect and disconnect. So uh, I think we are almost good here. I'll just kind of sit tight here, get this thing to boot up here. Make sure the touch works. Make sure the backlight looks pretty good. You know what? Okay, so I don't have the home button plugged in, but I have the connector plugged in. So I think when that happens, like this thing takes forever to boot. Pretty sure of that. So the better thing is if you don't have a home button, just don't connect the home button connector. Otherwise, it takes 10 minutes to boot. Anyways, I'll just leave it. I'll let it go. Mm. Alright, I'm going to use brand new screens here for testing. So I'm sick of looking for screens that work. You getting out of here? Alright. Maybe not tomorrow. I'll probably see you Monday, man. All right. Have a good weekend. Uh, you, want, you want pizza? You sure? All right. All right. Maybe I'll pause this because this is boring. All right. This thing finally. Sorry. This thing finally booted up. Uh. Let's see. Okay. So it looks like. Okay. Let me see. Touch works fine. Kind of. It's probably this cheap ass screen, probably. So, let's see. Probably this cheap ass aftermarket screen. I don't know how they sell these damn things. Anyways, it looks like the backlight. Half the backlight is out. See it? Yeah, definitely a backlight issue. See that right there? So that's probably that cat line down there that's jacked up. So uh, let me work on it. Let me work on it. Let me take a look under the microscope again. So if we look at this connector here, uh, it's probably just it's probably just this pin that's just not making contact. This pin right here is not making contact with the connector. So, so I guess we can just kind of nudge it down a little bit, maybe. I don't know. What do we do? Like that? Will that fix it? I, I think I should probably just replace the connector, huh? 
because this is definitely going to happen again. But who's to say that's not going to happen again after I replace the connector? But I guess that's not my problem. Ugh, I really don't want to have to replace this. Oh, damn. That's how you bend it right there. You put the wrong connector in the wrong place. Alright, so let's just plug in the display adapter uh, connector. And let's see if we can get... I don't know. It clicks and everything, so I'm really reluctant to replace this damn thing, man. I'm really reluctant to replace this thing. Okay, let's let's let it boot up again. I I didn't connect the home button this time, so that it'll, hopefully it'll boot up a little faster. I think it will. Okay. <sighs> All right, I guess you guys have to sit here and stare at the logo again. Let me pause this, man. This is boring. All right, so as you can see, after bending it back a little bit, we're all good here. Um, so I'm still at it with a dilemma here. I think what I'm going to do is just email the customer, see what they want to do, because um, because I don't, you know, uh, you know, permanent fixes to just replace the connector, but. You know, that's going to cost them an arm and a leg versus um, just keeping it as is here. So, I don't know. I'll let, I'll let them decide. All right. But anyways, that's the iPhone 7 Plus no display. Bad connector.